Hello again, wondrous souls of YouTube. Dharma Jones here again for another video, two in one day. But this one is a Q and A. I asked Twitter and Instagram to ask me all of your burning questions, and I would answer them in a YouTube video here. So let's get started. Okay, question number one: Are you limiting your work to OnlyFans? Um, a little backstory. If, <laughs> if you're here on my channel and you don't know, um, part of my job or my career is not only doing YouTube, but um, I also do adult films. So um, I started out in that industry back in April. Um, I can make a, another video about how I got into it. Um, but yeah, I started working for companies back in April of 2022. Um, as the months went by, I realized like, oh, I could be making my own videos and selling them instead of working for a company and getting a one-time, one-time check instead of making money over time. So I made the decision to really be picky with the bookings that I was taking. And now I'm really focused on my own content on OnlyFans. So you can find me on there um, if you've been wondering like, oh, why aren't there a lot of scenes coming out um, on the internet of Dharma? The reason is because they are on my OnlyFans and I haven't been shooting as much for companies. So yes, uh, the answer to that question is yes, I am mostly limiting my work to OnlyFans. Um, I'm taking about one to three bookings a month for companies um, just as some like extra income so there's that if you could attend any live concert past or present performer or band who would it be um, and if you want include where you'd like to see them um, hmm. I really want to see Jack Harlow I don't know why I, I love him he's great I would see him in LA um, and then there's a group called Emotional Oranges. Their music is amazing. Um, it'd be amazing if they did a show in LA. I don't know if they go on tour, but if they do, you'll see me at one of their shows. <laughs> Who would you consider a childhood hero growing up? Hmm. I never thought about that. This, this answer might be a little expected and a little cheesy but I would say my mom because she started her own business all by herself she didn't go to college she started her own business and it was really successful um, and she did whatever she could to take care of us um, she's very strong and amazing so my mom is my hero <laughs> Uh, next question. What do you like to do when you have time to relax? Um, this might be a weird answer, but cleaning sometimes relaxes me. I feel like sometimes it doesn't if I'm overwhelmed with some stuff and like there's like dishes in the sink and everything to clean. But if I'm on top of my stuff, clean cleaning can be really relaxing. Um, I like to read. I like to watch videos and learn different things about the universe and magic and all those cool things. Um, I like to go on walks and listen to music while I'm on walks. Um, I like to go down to different cafes and try their chai tea lattes. Um, I like to walk around different like shopping areas. I guess it's like my social time, like my non-social social time. Um, I like to meditate and just sit in silence. I like to do puzzles. I need to start doing puzzles again. Those are great. Um, yeah, that's that answer. Uh, favorite TV series and movies? My favorite movie is Zoolander. It's hilarious. I love funny movies. Um, TV series. I really love the Kardashians. Um, I really, I think they're, they're really smart people. Like they built that empire. 
yeah, I like to observe their their lifestyles and their behaviors. I think it's very interesting. Um, other favorite TV shows? I like the show, it's called Outdaughtered. It's on TLC, and it's this couple who had a child, um, and then they were trying for another one, and they ended up getting pregnant with five daughters. So, uh, they ended up having six kids, obviously, because they had the first one. But, yeah, that that was very interesting, and they're, they're all so cute. So, I've been enjoying watching them grow up, and um, the parents juggle all of the kids and everything. It's, re it's a really cute show. Favorite genre of music? I really like trance, house, EDM, music that takes you to another world, another universe, makes you feel something, makes you feel chills and tingles in your body. I love that kind of stuff. Um, I also love hip hop. Um, I like jazz, like saxophone, jazz. It's nice. <laughs> Some of my favorite comedy films, well, Zoolander's one. Step Brothers. Anything with Will Ferrell is hilarious. Like Anchorman, Anchorman 2. Um, sorry, I'm hearing noises outside. Um, the movie with, what's his name? James Franco? Why him? That's really funny. Uh, there's a movie with Zac Efron called Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. That's really funny. Um, yeah, those are my favorite comedy films. What's your opinion on the current state of the USA? It's a good question. So I'm going to preface this with the fact that I know that I am a very privileged human being. I live in a really nice neighborhood. I'm able to pay all my bills um, and have money left over. Um, I live a very quiet, private life, for the most part. Uh, <laughs> as much as I can with my job. So, with that being said, I'm not really one to be watching the news. Um, just because I'm, I'd say I'm privileged enough to not have to know everything that's going on. Um, from what I do know, we are... We have become a very divided country um, with very strong opinions and if you don't agree with someone I feel like there are a lot of people who will tell you you're wrong and will condemn you and make you feel like a bad person but it's on either side so it's like either way like you can't win right so you might as well believe what you want to believe live your life the way you want to live it um, and when, I'm, I'm just talking politics here, I don't know if that was what you were asking. Um, yeah, I, I live a pretty peaceful life where I'm not worried about, like, what someone else believes, because that's none of my business, and it's not my life, so I, my advice is to focus on your own life, and I know there are things that impact your life that have to do with the state of the country. But always try to do what's best for you. Yeah. I don't really know what else to say about that. I mean, I would love for everyone to like be able to open their hearts to another human being that has a different opinion and have it be okay. And not have it be such a, a battle, like knocking, knocking heads together. Um, because I've learned I can still respect another person who has a different opinion than me, and I can still love them. There you go. <laughs> and I feel like nowadays, like, for example, me answering that question, people can, like, twist my words and make it seem like I'm, like, a horrible person, but it's like, I know that I'm a good person. I... I'm chill, I'm relaxed, I try to have an open heart. That's all I can do. What's your favorite color? For a while, it's been orange. Lately, it's been kind of changing to purple, but I still love orange. So it's orange and purple right now. 
are my favorite colors. I need an orange bikini. That's what I need. Would you make love with an older man? I think the oldest man that I slept with was in his 50s, and I'm not exactly sure how old he was, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I do prefer someone, I guess, closer in age. Uh, someone maybe in their 30s, late 20s, uh, preferably not early 20s, because um, I'm not really attracted to guys younger than me. Um, I would say if you're like double my age, it's fine. So if you're like 52 and under, whatever, age is kind of silly. Um, but like older, like gram my grandpa's age, I'd say no. I think that's pushing it a little too far. Um, and to give you reference, my grandpa that's still alive is like in his 80s, so that would be pushing it. Who, okay, here's a question. Who was your first boy-girl scene with in what company? It was Backroom Casting Couch with a male performer named Cam. I don't know his last name, but yeah, it was boy-girl... And, and it was butt stuff. <laughs> that was my first video. I have any scenes coming out soon. Um, I release scenes on my OnlyFans every Friday um, at midnight. Other than that, I'm, there's other scenes that I've done for companies that haven't released, but I don't know what the schedule is, so I can't really answer that question because they don't tell me. Um, where are you from originally? I am from... Massachusetts, and I'm in California. What is the atomic weight of lead? This was asked by one of my friends. Hello, hello. I don't know, and I wish I knew, but I don't, so. Thank you for asking that amazing question. When will you shoot for Cherry Pimps? I shot for them for a solo scene um, back in August, but I haven't done any more scenes with them yet. Um, I guess it depends when they want to book me again. I don't really have control over that. What things would you like to have in your dream partner? Someone who accepts me and loves me for exactly who I am. For my career, for my different moods, because sometimes I can be a moody girl. Um, I'm not always happy all the time, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, someone who I guess has the same values as me and wants similar things like traveling and just like learning new things, being curious about the world and really seeing the world as a beautiful place. And every everywhere we go together, it's like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, look at that, look at that, this is beautiful. Um, someone who wants to have kids, someone who wants to be involved with the kids it's important. Um, someone who likes to take care of his woman, but also lets her do what she needs to do. Um, like, I don't want to be the wife that, like, doesn't have a career at all. Um, I want it to be, like, I'm doing my own thing, but, like, he, he loves to take care of me, too. So, there's a lot, probably a lot more in that question, but I won't. I won't take, I won't, um, take up too much of your time with that. My boob size. What is my boob size? I am a 32B, so I'm a little, I'm a little tiny girl, but, um, all boobs are beautiful, and I accept my body for exactly how it is. <laughs> how was your weekend? I had a really quiet weekend at home. I was in kind of a bad mood going through some stuff, but coming out strong. I'm in a better mood today, and that's why I'm here making these videos for you guys. Um, but I went grocery shopping. I cooked a meal for myself. How amazing is that? I made tacos last night, and that was a nice little gesture of self-love for myself, because usually when I'm upset, I just want to order something. But how do I marry you? I don't know how to answer that question. I'm sorry. Will you shoot for girlfriend's films again soon? 
Probably. Um, I've shot for them a total of four times already, and it's usually every couple of months I go back, so I'm assuming I'll be back for a fifth scene at some point. They seem to like me there. Will you shoot with Freya Parker? Um, I was supposed to over the summer, but I couldn't make it because um, it was in Vegas and I was in Florida. So I had to cancel and they had someone else shoot the scene with her. But I would love to one day if the stars align, if a company books us together or we decide to make a video together for our own pages. That'd be great. She's amazing. She's beautiful. She's good at what she does. She's great at what she does. Um, and I met her once, but I don't know if she remembers me, so. Are there any more questions? Hey Dharma, are you single? I am now. <laughs> As of recently, yes, I am single. Um, I'd like to join the industry, how? For a man, I don't really know. For a woman, it's a lot easier. For a man, I would just reach out to agencies. Um, yeah, I'm kind of blanking on that because I'm, I'm a woman and kind of just need, kind of just need to take sexy pics and have like I guess somewhat of a nice body and physique and be attractive. So, but honestly, anyone I think anyone can be in the industry. There's room for everyone, and um, sometimes you gotta forge your own path. Sometimes you gotta start your only fans first. Um, start making content there and then you'll be able to prove to agencies and companies that you can perform um, because as a male performer you have to stay hard and be able to finish when it's time it's not always easy I've seen a lot of male performers not be able to perform when they need to so you gotta have that that all, uh, that all going on down there, you know? <laughs> okay, I think that is all of the questions. I think there was one more, actually. Okay. Not sure if you see all your comments. Um, what are your current goals? My current goals are <laughs> to, I guess, change the narrative in the industry to pleasure-based content, really focusing on what each performer really loves and enjoys about performing and um, I guess sex in general. Um, like what are their kinks? What turns them on? What helps them orgasm? All of those things. I really want to open up the conversation about that because I feel like a lot of content um, is more focused on um, get, getting the positions like five minutes of this, five minutes of that, five minutes of that. Okay, now we have like him finishing on her face like and that's it and it's just like boring to me and um, I want people to learn how to love each other differently through sex and, con and connect with them through sex. Um, and just have a better sex life and grow into more intimacy and communication. Um, so that's what I'm working on. And also, I want to have a voice in the industry um, just about like a lot of different topics that people don't really speak about, like relationships and how you can make a relationship work when you're in the industry. It's You're not doomed to fail. You're not doomed to be single forever. Um, there are couples who make it work and so I'm working on a couple different things in those areas but my overall goal is to like change the narrative of sex and adult film and make an impact like a, an impact for the better so that people feel more confident um, to have better sex lives and intimacy with their partners um, and also another goal of mine is not only like, I mean, this doesn't have to do with adult film, but teaching people that they can have the life that they dream of. If it's a dream or a desire, it is possible. 
a lot of what stops us is our own heads and our own and our trauma and our experiences that teach us oh no that's not possible um, but once you get through all of those beliefs about yourselves and beliefs about society and beliefs about what can happen for you magic happens so I really want to be coaching people mentoring people healing people um, I have a lot of healing energy so I would love to expand upon that and work with different people on living the lives that they actually want instead of the ones that they're settling for so I think that is probably a good place to end this video thank you for asking questions everyone thank you for watching um, I'll probably do another one of these soon or at some point probably not soon but you know I hope you enjoy my new bikini try-on video it's the one right before this one um, and this is one of the bikinis in the video enjoy your Sunday enjoy your week ahead and I'll see you guys soon Bye.